In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new badge system in NBA 2K24. Now, hey, let me know what y'all think in the comment section about the stuff that I'm about to show you in this video because it's kind of crazy. Loki hype for this game. Like, I'm not even going to cap to y'all. But if y'all could do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the post notifications to the channel so you can be notified when I post. And yeah, man, let's get into this video. So look. We got the builder right here, man. Now, if y'all haven't seen this yet, to the right, they have S, A, and C tier. Something definitely different, man. You know, haven't seen nothing like this before. Basically putting the tiers of the badges that you have in that category. Showing which badge is better than the other. Apparently, there's 24 new badges and 77 badges in total. As y'all can see, here's one of them. We got Speed Booster. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, the speed boosts look very slow, but that's because it's on bronze, I'm guessing. I wonder what it looks like on Hall of Fame or gold at least. Probably gonna be speed boosting like crazy. I don't know, but we're gonna have to wait and see, man. That's a badge low key I'm hyped for because I meant certain builds. Like, you can't, I don't know if it's gonna be like that, but you can't be 6'9 having gold or hall of fame speed booster like i feel like it's going to be definitely requirements for it and that's what's going to really determine who is good and who is not man you're not going to just be having six nines running around with speed booster hall of fame that's crazy but as you can see here's the next badge we got two step basically a euro type of cradle layup badge i don't know it's a finishing badge obviously and you know what i'm not gonna lie definitely gonna improve the gameplay as far as finishing around the rim you know you won't only have to rely on dunking you can actually finish with some crazy layups like i've been doing that a lot recently in 23 man and it's just like you know it opened up a different game style a different play style man you won't be sitting there relying on the dunk the whole time now here's the next badge we got bulldozer definitely a badge i'm kind of Eh, I'm kind of iffy about as you can see Giannis just bumps into him and then dunks over Jimmy It's just it's kind of crazy. I can see a lot of people abusing that But hopefully it's not gonna be like insanely overpowered Like you just can't keep doing that over and over because if so that's gonna be bad for the game I'm not gonna lie. It's already gonna be an issue. So we do not need that we don't need people just making big tall players and just pushing everybody out the way man it's gonna be 2k19 all over again except on the offense like you can literally push your opponent and then dunk with them like that that's kind of crazy these are only a few badges i'm showing y'all only for the simple fact that they didn't show that much it's only a couple clips with these badges being used so obviously we have three so far this next badge is not nothing too crazy you know it's typical it's been in 2k but it's just a different name now it's basically a different name for posterizer as you can see we got precision dunker i i don't know it's kind of insane i don't really understand why they named it precision dunker is it's kind of lame not gonna lie you could have just kept it posterizer and kept pushing but i understand they're trying to improve their game go for something different and i'm not gonna lie it might be it might be decent who knows who knows the power of it we don't know yet the game hasn't come out but here is another screenshot i'm not sure exactly how this is going to work obviously we all know that we have perks you know from 2k23 you got juice accelerator stuff like that but now they have badge perks that's kind of going to be broken i'm not gonna lie i don't know how to feel about that that's kind of got me hyped man as y'all can see there's another tweet talking about the badges there's 24 new badges 77 in total a whole new badge progression system only on next gen though so hey man y'all need to get off the current gen and just hop on the next gen bro that's where it's going to be at this year i'm just telling y'all now now here's the next screenshot as y'all can see attribute requirements they got different type of like tier badges and how to get them so basically they're bringing back like 2k17 type of badge unlock requirements like basically you just gotta do certain challenges in order to get the badge unlocked is what i'm seeing from it hopefully that's what it's going for if so that's definitely going to bring back the nostalgia as far as grinding badges you know not just sitting in my career all day 12 minute quarters and just shooting threes trying to get all your shoot now nah, that's that's crazy but here's the last badge that i got for y'all float game 
definitely going to be effective as far as like for smaller guards you know you're going to be throwing up floaters you know if you can't get the dunk off or get the layup off you can just throw up the floater if you have it on gold i'm gonna just assume that you have a way higher chance of making it man like it's just different how they're bringing in new badges trying to create a different play style for people instead of everybody playing the exact same that is ridiculous that has been like that for the last two three years and it's just like now they're finally changing it up a little bit making new badges to where people have to actually play a different play style now here's my thoughts and opinions about the new badges the new system and how it's gonna probably make this game probably one of the best because honestly how it's looking right now for me and my personal opinion i feel like it's definitely it's a change the game man like you know you're gonna see a lot of different play styles a lot of different people that like to cheese and just you know over dribble and go crazy you know you got people like that like you're gonna have people that play realistically you know you actually try and play like post fades and stuff like that you know you know those type of people man we all know we all played against them before they try to play real basketball in a virtual basketball game like you know there's gonna be people like that that has their own play styles and you know i'm here for it man like i just want to see how this game is going to evolve you know hopefully it doesn't die out in the first month or two man because that's not going to be good this is going to be a game that we're going to be playing for nine months until 2k25 come out and you know hopefully this game definitely changes and you know it's not going to be the same or copy and paste repetitive thing that we've been having for a while now like this is a lot man this is definitely a lot it's kind of similar to the 2k23 builder and the badges you know it's the same badges but they have 24 new ones so that's what makes it more unique now the videos i have been saying some stuff about 2k and how they're messing up a little bit or just showing y'all tweets and my honest opinions on it and now i can actually say i'm giving 2k their credit man the bad system the builder is looking slight decent right now i'm not gonna lie i'm really messing with it i'm hyped for it and on top of that i just need the gameplay to just be top tier man it just gotta be good because if the gameplay is not good then what's the point you feel me so yeah man we just all gotta sit here and really like hope for the best that's that's really all we can do man the game is about to come out in two weeks so hey i'm excited man y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think and this is the end of the video and i just want to say that i appreciate all y'all for tuning in and i'm out